Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my night routine and also how I keep my hair kind of moisturized and healthy, but still maintaining my straight hair. Sorry about the super horrific lighting, we're just gonna have to cope with it because it is night time. So I've got lamps and lights on and things like that. I've just had my hair up in a claw clip today because it's been hot. And we're indoors, so we don't need to really be fussy, do we? But you can see this is what my hair looks like. I've had it straight for a week. I hadn't added any moisturising products to it. I figure I should now since it's getting to the end of the week. So I'm going to take the L'Oreal El Vive Extraordinary Oil Oiling Cream Moisturiser. doesn't revert my hair, it just adds a really nice amount of nourishment to my hair. Um, this one is for dry, rough hair, so perfect for me because my hair is definitely dry. It's not rough though. Um, I'm only going to take this much, rub my hands together so it's really all over my hands and start to pull it through the ends of my hair especially. Probably even took a little bit much there. Get it on my nape. Sorry, my camera battery cut out. I'm trying to work quite quickly. But yeah, all I've done is applied my moisturizer. And yeah, you can see that it doesn't make my hair revert. And then I'm going to follow up by using just a couple drops of my own oil mix. So it's just a blend of sumptuous oils and ingredients. Again, not too much. Because I now wear my hair straight, I don't want my hair to be greasy or weighed down. So really, really little amount. In fact, this is too much. I'm just gonna rub it on my knee and then rub my hands together. And this time I don't take it up the entire length of my hair, again, because I don't want that greasy root look. Just the ends, because the ends need the most nourishment and help. I'll just put the rest on my nape because the nape can take that. Now, remember what I said about working to my strengths, everyone? That still stands because I think most people that straighten their hair would wrap it. But alas, I can't wrap. But I can cross wrap. So I just comb my hair out. So obviously if you have a side parting, you do that, but I have a middle parting and I just swoop it behind my ear, take this section, pull it up and I'm not, I'm literally just looping it. Do you see? It's really nice and smooth. I hope that it hasn't lost too much focus there. Pull it up and across like this. We'll come back to this little bit in a section, um, in a moment. Take some large bobby pins and secure it just like that. Take the other side, get, give it a little comb through. Helps distribute the product as well. Smooth, I would like to smooth it behind my ear, and I am crossing it over, looping it over this section of my head. Again, I really hope you could see that, but I'll turn around in a moment. Probably haven't done this the best because it's harder working in this small viewfinder. But let me just show you. Hopefully you can sort of see it's crossed over each other. So the back parting doesn't have to be super neat. It's literally just looped over each other. So now I've got a couple of scraggly bits, which I don't usually get, but again, it might be because I'm rushing. These little sections I've got now, take them, lay them flat on my head and get some more bobby pins. Yeah, I never usually have to, but I think I will add just an extra pin for this side. 
Then I'm going to take my satin scarf. I've had this for years, so I think I just got it from a regular beauty supply store. But any kind of silk satin scarf will do. Or any of those kind of ones where they're even fake satin, the polyester ones, but the fibers are nice and close together and it's nice and silky feeling, that's good too. Take it, pop it over my head. Super simple. I just do a knot at the top. Go to bed and now I will see you in the morning for the takedown. Morning! Obviously I have had some slipping and sliding and I've got dressed anyway. Oh my goodness, it is so, so hot today. Um, and my bedroom gets particularly hot like a sauna. But anyway, just taking that off. Look at that, looks funny. Have I got my comb with me? No, let me get my comb. Okay, just taking down all of those bobby pins. Go, take it down, take it down. Oh, I forgot I pinned that side section as well. There you go. It's definitely kinked at the front there. But that kind of thing seems to always happen whenever I try to film a video. But in general, you can see I've maintained my straight hair. I do not silk press my hair. I don't do it bone straight. I just do one pass and that's suitable enough for me. Little kink, can you see it? That little groove there. Then fine, straighten it if you want to, blow dry it as well. The Reve is really good for that because it can kind of just pull it straight. And if I was again bothered about my edges, then go ahead and slick those down if you see fit. But I'm not fussed. When I wrap it again, it will smooth out. Another version that I do as well is I sometimes split this into either four or six and I pin curl my hair. So I'll wrap it around my fingers, like so. And then I will hold it like that and slide a couple of bobby pins through there. And that gives me a really nice bouncy blowout. It's good enough for me, but as I've said, it's absolutely sweltering today. So I'm actually just going to wear it in a uh, clippy like that today because it's way too hot to have it down on my neck. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I will leave everything that I've used in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.